In the last video, we got some practice adding what we could consider smaller numbers. For example, if we added 3 plus 2, we could imagine that if maybe I had 3 lemons, 1, 2, 3. And if I were to add to those 3 lemons, maybe 2 lime. Is it lime or limes? Let's just, well, the two, two green lemons or two, two more tart pieces of fruit. How, many, how much tart, sour fruit do I have now? Well, we learned in the last video we have one, two, three, four, five pieces of fruit. So 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. And we also saw that that's the exact same thing as if we add 2 plus 3. And I think that makes sense, because this is the same thing as starting with maybe you have two lemons and you add 3 lime to it, you're still going to end up with 5 pieces of fruit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, just like that. So it doesn't matter what order you add in, you're still going to get 5. And this, is, this way of thinking about addition, I view as the counting way of thinking about addition. The other thing we saw in the last video is a number line version. And they're essentially the same thing. So we could draw a line. And all a number line is, it lists all of the numbers in order. It lists all the numbers, and you can actually go as high as you need to go. You could go up to a million, gazillion, trillion. We won't do that. I wouldn't have space or time in this video to do it. And you actually can go as low as possible. We'll start at 0, assuming in future videos I'll tell you about numbers smaller than 0. Maybe you can think about what that might mean tonight. But let's start at 0, and 0 means nothing. If I have 0 lemons, if I have 0 lemons, it means I have no lemons. So 0, 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Let's go pretty high. 12, that way I can reuse the number line. 13, 14. I could keep on going, but maybe 14 will be enough for this video. But let's use a number line for these addition problems up here. So in the last video, just as a bit of a review, you can view 3 plus 2 as starting at 3. And then adding 2 to it, or going 2 greater than 3. And just going greater, or adding on the number line, is just moving to the right, or moving up by 2. So let's move up by 2. I'll do that in, I'll do that in this orange color. So let's move, go up by 2. So we started at 3, and we go up by 1. And then we go up by 2, or we're jumping. And we end up at 5, which is exactly what we got before. If we have three lemons, we add one lemon, we have four lemons. We add another lemon, we have five lemons, or lime, or tart pieces of fruit, whatever you might want to say. And when you look at this version of it, where you switched the order, we started at two, and we're adding three objects to it. In this case, they were lemons, or limes. So we're going to add three to it. One, two, three. And just like we expected, we got the same thing. We got 5 again. Now what I want to do in this video, and hopefully this was just a bit of review, is I want to tackle harder problems. I want to tackle slightly larger numbers. And then in the next video, and in this video I want to just give you practice dealing with the slightly larger numbers. And in the next video, we're going to dig a little deeper and think about what numbers even mean. But let's just get some practice understanding how do you actually do the addition problems with larger numbers. So let's. Let me write it in a nice soothing purple color. Let's say I wanted to add, let's say I wanted to add nine plus three. Nine plus three. Well, there's a couple of ways we could do it. We could draw circles again. We could say, let's see, I have maybe I'll draw stars. One, two, three, four. My stars are degrading. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's nine stars. And then I add three stars to it. So I add one, two, three stars. And then if you were to count the total number of stars, you would say, let me do that in a different color, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I now have twelve stars. So you'd say that nine plus three is equal to twelve. It's equal to twelve. If you looked at the number line, if you looked at the number line, you're starting at 9. Maybe you have 9 stars. And you add 1 star, 2 star, 3 stars to that, 
and you end up with 12 stars, which is the exact answer we got before. So you can do you can do the same process when you start adding larger numbers, even though that now, and I want you to notice the difference now is our answer has two digits in it. And we'll talk more about digits in a future video, but all a digit is is a numeral, right? It has a one and a two. That's what 12 is. I won't go in, I won't dig too deep into that right now. I think you're pretty familiar with the number 12. But what I want to do is now what happens when you start adding more uh, when you start adding two digit numbers like this. For example, if I were to add if I were to add if I were to add 27 plus plus let's say, I don't know, plus 15. Now, if you had a lot of time on your hands and you uh, didn't care about how people judged you, you could draw out 27 circles and then draw out another 15 circles and then count the total number of circles you had, and that would give you an answer. Or you could draw a number line. You could draw a number line that went all the way to you know whatever 27 plus 15 is. So it's going to be this really, really large number. But that would take you forever. So what I'm going to do is show you a way to do this type of problem, where you really just have to know your addition, almost have it memorized, or at least if you don't have it memorized, be able to do something like this for relatively small numbers. And by doing it for the relatively small numbers, you can do the harder problems like this. So what you do, this is the fun part. You add, so let's get, and I'll talk more about what this means in the future. You look at each of the digits. So we call this place, the rightmost place, we call that the ones place. We call that the ones place. And why do we call that the ones place? Because 27 is 20 and 7 ones. It's 20 plus 7. It's 20 plus 7 ones. You could view it as it's 20 plus 7 pennies. And this place right here, is called the tens place. Now why is it called the tens place? I mean there's a two right there, you know. It's the place is called the tens place. So putting a two here means two tens, right? The number twenty, that's two tens. If I have one dime and you give me another dime, I now have two dimes and that's twenty cents. So that's what the tens place is. And I don't want to confuse you. I just want to show you how to do these problems right now. We'll dig a little bit deeper in future videos, but I just want to give you that idea. But the way to do these problems is you just look at the numbers in the ones place and add those up first. So you say, OK, I'm not going to worry about this whole thing right now. Let me just add the 7 and the 5. So I'm going to add the 7 and the 5. And if you don't know what that is, hopefully you'll be able to do that in your head fairly shortly, you could look at the number line. Let's look at the number line here. So if you add 7, if you take 7 and you add 5 to it, 1, 2, 3, 4, Five. We end up at 12. Or if you started at 5 and added 7, you'd also end up at 12. So let's write that down. We know that 7 plus 5 is equal to 12. So what we do is we say 7 plus 5 is equal to, and now this is a new thing. This is going to, you might, might be a little bit of a mystery, magical thing for you right now. And in future videos, I'll explain to you why this works. We write. We want to write the 12. 7 plus 5 is 12, but we just write the 2 here, and we carry the 1, right? 12, 1, 2. Well, we wrote the 2 there, but we put the 1 up here, right? And the, the reason, I'll, I'll give you a, a, a simple reason for doing that right now, I'll give you a better reason in the future, is that you only, want, you only had space to put one digit here, and 12 is a two digit number, so we had to think of some other place to put that 1. If you really want to think about it even more, 12 is the same thing as 10 plus 2, right? That's the same thing as 12. So if we say 7 plus 5, that's the same thing as 12, which is the same thing as two ones, right? Two ones, two pennies, plus one dime, plus one ten, plus one dime. So we put that one dime in the tens place. So we really just said 7 plus 5 is one ten plus two ones, or one dime plus two pennies. If that confuses you, just write, just write, say, well, I just write the ones digit of the two there, and I carry the one. And then you do the exact same thing in the tens place. You add the one plus the two plus the one. So one plus two, let's do that on the number line. This is fun. So let's see, one plus two. Let's start, let me do it in a vibrant color. Let me do it in this magenta. So we start at one. 
We're going to add 2 to it, right? 1 plus 2. We take that 1 from our, from our 12. 1 plus 2, so you go up 1, 2. You end up at 3. Then you're going to add up another 1. So you're going to add another 1. So you're going to add up, end up at 4. So you ended up at 42. And this was pretty neat, right? Because we didn't have to draw a number line all the way to 42, and we didn't have to draw 42 objects. Just by knowing what 7 plus 5 was, and by knowing what, what 1 plus 2 plus 1 was, we were able to figure out that 27 and 15 is 42. Let's do another example. Maybe I'll do a little bit of a simpler example. Let's say I had, let's say I had 78, 78 plus 3. We do the exact same thing before. We just look at the ones place only. So we look at 8 plus 3. 8 plus 3. What's 8 plus 3? Hopefully we can do that in our heads at this point. But let's just think about it. 8 plus 1. 8 plus 1 is equal to 9. 8 plus 2 is equal to 10. 8 plus 3 is going to be equal to 11. You could do that on the number line if it makes it easier to visualize for you. So 8 plus 3 is equal to 11. So what we do here is 8 plus 3 is equal to 11. Put this one right here, put that there, and carry the other one. Because 11 is 1 10, 1 dime, plus 1 penny. That's 11. And then we add the tens place. 1 dime plus 7 dimes is equal to 8 dimes. So 78 plus 3 is equal to 81. And now there's one thing I want to show you. You don't always have to carry numbers like that. Only if the answer to one of these has more than one digit in it, right? 11 is a two digit number. So, for example, if I have 56 plus 2, here I could just say 6 plus 2 is 8, right? Hopefully we, we're getting good practice at this. So, 6 plus 2 is 8. And then I don't have anything to add this 5 to, so I just bring the 5 down here. So, 56 plus 2 is 58, just like that. And this is one you actually could have drawn on the number line. It wouldn't have been too hard. So if you were to draw the number line like that, you know, 0 would be way off to the left someplace. But let's say I had 50, you know, that you'd have 49. You could keep going to the left, but you have 51, 52. Actually, let me start a little higher than that, because I'm going to run out of space. Let me start at maybe 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. And I could go in both directions, keep going. But if we start at 56, right there, and we add 2, we go up 1, we go up 2, we end up at 58. So just like that, we're able to do that problem. I'll see you in the next video.